So these are usually cheap. They don't work. Most people don't know what to do with them and they just pass them by. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something I do run into fairly often. It's something most people don't like to mess with. Now, these are what's called Cube World. Most of the time, they do not work. These came out in like 2005. I think the Radica versions came out. And then Mattel bought the company. And then Mattel put these out through, I think, 2006 through like 2010. There's four or five series of these, like 50 or 60 different versions of these. Now, I'll show you what these actually do in just a second here, but these are actually pretty cool. Biggest factor that most people don't know about is they take very standardized batteries. Now, these are the name brand ones. These I use for motherboards. You can get these as cheap as 30 cents a battery. It doesn't have to be new. What I like to do on a lot of these is I'll buy the outdated ones. They work just fine. They can't be sold in a store for the normal price, so I can usually get them for 30 cents, 25 cents a uh, single one of these, and it's 2032 lithium batteries. Again, it's the same one that's on motherboards for a whole heck of a lot of computers. Very accessible, very cheap. Even if you buy the name brands, they're still like, I don't know, 85 cents. If you're careful, you buy a pack of six or 10 of them. So here's one of them. And once you start it up, the little dude inside wakes up. He'll do some action. This one's a sport one. He just farted if uh, you caught that. Now, some of them, if you turn them sideways, the dude will fall and all sorts of different things. It has like a directional thing in there. And there's little magnets around the sides of each and every one of them. Now, when you hook up a second one to the very same thing, they'll eventually recognize that, hey, there's another dude right there. So if you keep watching it, he's going to wave to the other dude. The neatest thing I thought is what you're going to see in just a minute here. This was one of the first companies that I've ever seen that did this. One dude from one cube can crawl up into the other one, or he can cross over to another one. So now you've got both of the dudes from two different boxes in the same one. It's obviously a, a very simple program of some sort these days, but they'll box. There's games you can play. You can hook up larger ones. You can hook up four and have multiples, more than just two in the same cube as well. So I thought that was really neat. In some cases, they look slightly different, or I think one put a hat on or something, and they switch boxes for a few minutes. So, I mean, they do all kinds of crazy things on here. Now, these are games. So on top of being able to bounce them back and forth and stuff, there's a game. And if you hit the right button and if they're they're connected correctly, um, it'll give you a score so you can see who played high score in this. Now, I put new batteries in them just because that's what I always do with these. They're fun to play around with. But this one on the left is a sci-fi one. So it does a sci-fi spacey scene and some stuff like that. The one on the right, he's a weightlifter. So he's doing uh, lifting weights. He's sports related. So he's into karate and things like that. Now, there is a repeating thing on these as well, but you can see that they basically converse back and forth no matter how you connect them up. So now we saw them climb up top to bottom and such forth. Now they're going left to right, right to left. So whichever cube you hook up, they'll do the exact same thing. All of them, including the giant cubes, you can do this too. In the giant cube, you can connect a bunch of them. A giant, The big cubes like four little cubes put together basically size-wise which I thought was pretty neat. It shuts off, obviously, when they're disconnected. This is the intro for this one here. He kind of splashes onto the scene. I thought they're neat. They're highly collectible. When I was uh, looking for these for our kids, they weren't in many stores, so they didn't make a ton of these. But I do run into them fairly often, again, because most people think that when they are dead, they're not going to work, and it's not going to be worth buying a battery for them just to see if they work. So when they're done, they get tired, they go to sleep, and they shut themselves off as well. Now we're in Terra Peak, and I'm just looking up Cube World, and we went to the correct category, Radica, which is the company that makes these. You'll find 99% of them in this category, so that's usually where I go. An entire collection of all of them sells for 500 bucks. Those entire collection there will fit in a shoebox. That's how small these are. They're not huge, as you saw in the beginning. Lots of value in them, hundreds of dollars for a decent lot. 
17 if they fully work. Now you could just use one battery and test each and every one with that single same battery without buying a whole bunch. But in all honesty, buy a new battery for 30 cents, even if it's max a dollar, you probably will pay 50 cents or a dollar to buy a used one of these, especially when they're not working. You put the battery in and get 20 bucks for it. So it's a quick, easy 12 to $14 profit. Easy, 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 easy. They always sell. It's a horrendously good market because most people just pass these by and don't assume there's much value. Now here's just an example of a grouping of them. Now the large one usually is worth the most. There are several different versions of the large one. There's some that are long. It's like the length of two of these boxes. There's some that are slim. Uh, there's some that are just devices you hook up to it that will do things to your box. Every one of these that hooks together can interact with the one next to it or around it. So if you hook up four, all four of those little dudes can pop into the very same box and do some actions or a game or anything like this. Now these are games. Fully, fully integrated. They are probably one of the neatest ones I have personally seen. Now here's one that's sealed in the package. Now this is from Series uh, 4, at yeah, Series 4. Series 1 were fairly plain. I don't remember how many for each series were out, but there was a sports series in the whole works. Now, usually they're sold in a packet of two, but I do believe you could buy one single one at one point when they first came out. The large one is only a single one, too. This packet here went for almost 50 bucks, so that's pretty interesting. Once in a blue moon, I have run into one of these at an old defunct toy store still sitting in the back of there on a shelf. So they do occasionally show up still NOS. It's not like something crazy. Most people just walk right by it and don't think a thing of it, thinking it's some just old toy. But these are a, a decent collectible. This one's almost 15 years old right now. And this is one of the large ones here as well. And this is Getaway. It's a game. Uh, it's fairly interesting. You kind of got to climb out of the, the area you're in. This one obviously still works. You can see it working still in the package, which is really cool. Now, this one came from KB Toys, $34.99. I don't believe they were anywhere near that high when they first came out, but maybe that is the, the rate of them. Very interesting. They do sell, as I said, so I always, always look for these. You'll find these at, like, the Goodwill bins dumped in the bottom of a bin. Most of the time when I find these at a thrift store, they're just dumped in a big, huge toy bin. Occasionally, I find them mixed up with, like, kids' blocks and things like that. When they're not working, it just as a cube. They just toss it in there. I bought bags of these for 5 bucks when they didn't work. $5 bag of, say, 10 or 15 of these is worth 150 bucks or better if they all work. I have never run into one of these where it didn't work after I put a new battery in it either. So these are excellent items all the way around. Now here's one of the same ones that I have. This is the mod sci-fi version. On average, 20 to 30 bucks. Every one of these that's on, you'll see it for the same price. This, again, is the same one that I have that I just showed you in the beginning of the video. The other one is Hans, and he's a weightlifter. Again, they can interact with each other very easily. They can bounce back and forth between each cube. If you have three together in a row, the two on the sides will transfer into the middle cube. And they can always tell when they're hooked up by the little magnetic clips, the little buttons you see on each side. All four sides of it have the little magnetic buttons, and that's what actually makes them interactive. They can tell what's hooked up to each one. Now, as I said, eBay is not the only source to sell these. We're on Amazon here, just to give you an idea. And there are still some active. This one here, $139. And that's the global getaway. It's the large one that we saw. They don't sell for that much on eBay, but these do sell. You'll see several of them that have already sold. These are gone. These have sold. Most of them on here have sold. The hip-hop version actually has like a little boom box with it as well as a cube and that one is one of the most sought after ones that I have personally seen but all in all this is a huge area most people don't know about it and most people think that the batteries are going to be outrageous so they don't even mess with them this is a hidden gem where you can make a bunch of money by grabbing these every time you see them wait and get a lot together and then boom you've got hundreds of dollars with a decent sized lot well, that's what I have for you today. You know when you run into these out in the wild, they're not going to work, but 99.9% .9 of the time, it's just a dead battery. I pop in one of the 2032 batteries, off I go. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
another planet with a cereal as big as honeycomb? Inhabitant of Vesuvius! The starship Honeycomb. Our cereal is bigger than yours. Impossible, Earthlings. We'll prove it. If you fail, you're doomed. This is our cereal. And this is Honeycomb. Ah, Honeycomb's big and it's got a big bite. How is Honeycomb cereal part of a balanced breakfast? Take Honeycomb for your planet. My people will love the big bite. Is there another planet with a cereal as big as Honeycomb?